hey y'all what's up welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new hey girl hey so today we are going to be doing a video on these coil array inspired box braids super quick but super cute if you just want like something protective or if you just want to take a break from wigs so let's get into it Okay, so you'll need any type of braiding hair. I'm using this one is 28 inches and then you'll need a little bit of curly hair. I got one pack of that. You need some shine jam, some edge control, rubber bands, a crochet needle. This is the wider one. I have an edge brush for smoothing, a comb for parting, and let's get into it. So this is the section we'll be working with today. I'm going to first get my braiding hair. I'm getting like a smaller piece and then a bigger piece because I'm going to use the smaller piece to go with my hair that's left out and like I said I'm going to get a bigger piece so that hair I'm just going to put to the side and this is the bigger piece that I'm going to be working with I did go in and stretch this hair just a little bit more just personal preference you don't really have to do that but I did go in and stretch it a little bit then I had to comb it out to get it back nice and sleek um, so yeah, that's just this. Now this is the part that we are working on. I'm just going to part that down the middle. And this in total was, I think, 11 or 12 braids that I had in my head. So I parted that. Now I'm going to get some shine and jam and then put it around the perimeter of the section. And then I'm going to smooth her out before we go any further. Just making sure like it's no flyaways or anything like that. So then after I do that, I'm going to take my rubber bands, I use two, and then I'm going to put the section into a mini ponytail, if you will. Okay, so now that the hair is in a pony, we're going to take some jam and then we're going to put it over the leave out. Because for me, I wanted it to be as sleek as possible. And my hair has a lot of little flyaways. So the jam just helps to keep the little flyaways in place. Now we are going to crochet in the thicker piece of hair. This is going to act as two of the three pieces. So you know you have three pieces when you're doing a braid. This will be two of the three pieces. That's why it's the thicker piece. So we're going to crochet that in. Don't worry if your crochet needle does not close all the way because this is a lot of hair. So it's not going to close all the way, but once you pull it, it will. So don't worry about that. And make sure when you are crocheting in, you put your hand in between so you don't tangle up the hair. So that's in and we have that going across. Now we're going to crochet in the next piece, which is a smaller piece, up and down. We're going to twist it first. And then this, as you will see, will fit right into the crochet needle and it will close with no problem. But like I said, even with the thicker piece, even if it doesn't close, it's going to come through. It's fine. So crocheting that in. And like I said, put your hand in between so you don't lose your place so the hair doesn't tangle up. And then once you crochet that in, this is the smaller section because it's going to be intertwined with our hair. Okay, so we're going to take our hair and make that with that hair. Right, so now we have three pieces to start the braid. Now I'm so sorry, I tried to get a better angle and ended up cutting off the top of my head too much and couldn't really get the first part of me braiding, but I'm literally just taking the three pieces and braiding them. It's so simple, I'm sorry I missed that first part. I was trying to get the angles going and it bit me in the butt, but we're gonna move on. So I'm also gonna add in some curly pieces and this I just literally put it between my fingers tuck away the other side and then I start to braid until it's intertwined into the braid. Also, I feel like this method of braiding overhand, I think that's what, what it is, overhanded braiding, is more comfortable when you're doing your hair yourself because if you are braiding regular, you got your arms up and they're going to get tired real quick. So this way makes it easier and more comfortable. But yeah, so I'm just going to take out the curly piece. That's the leftover piece from what we started to braid in earlier. I'm taking it out now before it gets like braided down too far and it's too short. So now I'm just going to continue to braid the braid all the way down. 
And like I said, for me, this is just a more comfortable way so my arms are not burning because I'm like having to hold them up the whole time. Now, once you get to like the end of your braid, measure to make sure all of them are relatively the same length. Then you take your rubber band, you put your rubber band on where you want the braid to stop. And then we are going to cut it because it was just a little bit long and I wanted all of them to be the same length. So I'm going to take the scissors and then just kind of cut it so all of the braids are relatively the same length so they look more uniform. But this is what we have the final, well almost final, result of the braids. So now it's time to make the ends all curly and I'm gonna take this rod and just wrap the hair around and then once I get to the end and end of the hair, I'm gonna wrap it around the hair. So it just um, ensures that it stays in place. Close that rod up and then I'm gonna dip the hair and that's really all. Now it's time to dip these bad boys and I could not be playing around with y'all on camera about to burn myself. So I'm showing you me dipping them, but not the rest of the process, okay? Cause I had to be safe cause this water was hot. Now it is time for the takedown. And let me just say, I love, love, love how tight the curl is. I think it looks really, really pretty. I love it, I'm obsessed. I got so many compliments on this style. And let me also just say, this is one of them really easy styles that anybody can do. Trust me. Okay, y'all. So this is the final look. These were quick and easy and they came out super cute the last time i did this i did these like much shorter but this time i wanted a little bit of length to them and i did them way bigger than i did last time because i was like listen i don't have time to sit here and like you know i want this to be quick i just want to do something with my hair so i really 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 love this style like i told y'all the last time i did this like this is gonna be my like go-to style when i want to just like be done with my hair and be done with wigs oh yes yes ma'am so they came out super cute the ends look like this but yeah y'all that's pretty much it be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you are not subscribed drop down in the comments and let me know what you thought of the video and everything and i will catch you in the next one enjoy the rest of your week your weekend whatever it may be peace and blessings bye